everybody it's Michelle and you may have seen my recent video where I made this bullet bead charm here from a 380 bullet casing and I actually had a very good response to the bullet bead charm video I'm really happy about that I had a lot of viewer suggestions and one of the suggestions came from Bonnie and she suggested making earrings from 22 bullet casings. So I thought I would do that today for Bonnie. I'm so thankful to Bonnie for her suggestion and to all of you who give me your suggestions and comments and everything. It's very inspiring. So what we're going to need is two of our 22 bullet casings and I've already drilled the hole in the bottom of those and I did that again using my Dremel tool but this time instead of that 1 32nd drill bit I used the 3 64ths and I did that because the head pins that I'm going to be using are actually a little thicker than what I had used before, so that will allow for that to go through with that 3 64ths of an inch. So we've got our bullet casings already drilled, and we have two teardrop beads for the tips in those. And these are about a 6 by 8 millimeter teardrop, but I found some of the smaller ones in the mix that actually measured closer to about five and a half by seven and a half and I found that that if you can find some that are in between the size like that they fit a little better in the 22's and then we've got two ear wires and two head pins and again I'm using the three inch you don't really have to have head pins this long but I find it easier to just go ahead and buy longer ones and I can cut away the excess and that way I have the option to do just about any size charm or earrings that I decide so I'm going to use my excess to make a couple of jump rings also and if you don't want to do that just go ahead and bring in a couple of jump rings with your supplies before you get started okay so before we put them together I wanted to show you a few options. I'm using sort of a turquoise color here with a little bit of an AB effect coating on that, which I thought was really gorgeous. But I wanted to show you a few more options. Here is another of the same size bead in sort of a black AB. If you wanted more of a bullet look instead of the jeweled look that we're going for with the turquoise you could keep it a little simpler with the black or you could do the color of the birthstone of whoever you're going to be giving these to the options are really endless with the color but I wanted to show you a different shape option actually here in the colorized look that we had on our bullet bead charm I had some bicones And that is a six millimeter bicone. And you can see that would look good on there too. Actually, may give a little more accurate of a shape for the bullet tip. And I've got those also in the bright silver. So I just wanted to show you all that. If you don't have the teardrop beads, you can also use the 6mm bicones. But today we're going to be using the teardrop beads in the turquoise AB. And we're just going to put that together the same way that we did with our bullet bead charm. We put our teardrop on first with the pointed end down and then our bullet casing upside down as well so that our bullet is pointing downward and I really love that color I think that's very pretty so then we just bend that over 
at a 90 degree angle and bring in our wire cutters just clip that down to about a quarter of an inch and then use our round nose pliers to curl that into a loop and make sure that it's straight Okay, and then we just make a jump ring. I'm just going to go ahead and use all of my excess to see how many jump rings I can get out of that. I got about three, so I'll put one aside for my stash. This will do both of our earrings, and then we'll have a few more out of our excess from the other head pin. So we just open up that jump ring. dangle on our little bullet with the jewel tip and I went ahead and closed that jump ring up because when I put that on I'm going to do that by opening up the ring on my ear wire here and just slip that on and close it back up and there's one earring. So we just make the other one the same way. Again, with the teardrop pointing down, the bullet casing upside down, and just bend it over. Clip it down to about a quarter of an inch. Roll that into a loop. And straighten it up. And since we already have the jump ring made here from our first one, I'll just go ahead and use that. And then open up the loop on our ear wire and slip that jump ring on there. And there you have your bullet earrings. So quick and simple. Those went together in just a few minutes. So you all let me know if you liked it. I know I sure did. I really appreciate that suggestion from Bonnie. And you all keep those suggestions coming. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give me a like over on my Facebook page. Follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. Also, don't forget to go over and check out my new blog at craftykaleidoscope.blogspot.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.